Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, um, using uh, Ubuntu Studio uh, to install the .NET SDK or the .NET runtime. I'm learning the C Sharp and uh, trying to trying to develop or try try to get the development environment for the .NET framework. So I'm going to give this link. Uh, and I'm trying to follow the guideline uh, that we have for installing the .NET framework within a Windows or within an Ubuntu system. And these days, uh, the the Snap installer is has become really really good. Uh, in, as a matter of fact, I just installed the code using the Snap install feature. So first thing, uh, they're on the few .NET SDK versions that are available through Snap, okay? Uh, and all versions of the .NET runtimes are available, but but for the .NET SDK, if you're using the Snap, uh, then these are the supported version, 5.0, 3.1, and 2.1, okay? And uh, as I said, the runtime, all runtimes are currently supported. So let's see. So to install the SDK, all you really need to do is run this particular command. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and get my terminal, and all you need to do is copy the command, go back to your terminal, paste it, and you provide your your sudo password, and let's see what happens. Uh, so yeah, if you have not used uh, Snap, uh, just know that it's a new type of software install installation or uh, software just like uh, AppGate. Uh, we have Snap these days and a lot of software releases that are happening using Snap and it's working really, really good. I have used it to recently to install a bunch of software and uh, it seems to be working very, very nicely. Although I still use the app to get uh, to install a lot of stuff, just to update my system and stuff like that. But Snap is working really good. So this one uh, is just downloaded the the .NET SDK, and now you see uh, the .NET Core is now installed. Okay, and this is a stable version 5.0. All right, the next thing that you need to do. Uh, you can register the .NET command from the system with the snap alias command and you can use really anything else for the alias but .NET is a good good thing that you probably use and be familiar with and I'm just gonna run this command and that should create an alias for me so if I do uh, .NET and uh, it should know what to do okay here it says uh, options and help. So this alias is now um, available to me. All right, so next uh, I need to install the runtime. So here all I need to do is copy this command, sudo snap install .NET runtime 5.0 for 50 and slash dash dash classic. So let's paste this one and get the runtime. And it's similar to the previous command that we ran. Uh, look, it's how quickly it's getting. I have a pretty good uh, internet connection, so it shouldn't take too long. And uh, what we will do next, we will register .NET command of the system with the snap alias command. So let's uh, uh, copy this one and come back over here and paste it. And uh, here I have a problem because I have already used that .NET command. Uh, so I don't need that. Okay. Um, let's see what else do we need. TLS is a certificate error. We did not uh, see any uh, that error, but you may encounter that error. And they're suggesting if you want to resolve this problem, you will have to uh, to, uh, you have to export, you have to run these two commands and that will create a file path um, in your environment. All right, next step, and that, that's about it. So now you should have a, a .NET and 
everything is available and let's see dot net dash h should give you all the help that uh, that's available okay all the commands and everything and now you can start building a dot net application uh, from here all right that's about it it's a very short video that's uh, all i wanted to show you in this one how to get your dot net core and dot net runtime in an ubuntu system thanks for watching